Here we are again in another different drawing now. I'm in drawing 04, Descriptions and Sections. Now this particular drawing, again, I've numbered using the numbering convention in my project here. So what I need to do first of all is right click on the project here and I want to add the active drawing to the project like so. Do I want to apply the project default values? We'll say yes to that. And that is now added, as you can see, and it's highlighted there showing it's the current drawing. So I've added that to the project. Now, this is where I want to look at descriptions and sections. If I look at this drawing here, which is the current drawing, what I need to do now is look and find where I can edit those drawing properties. If I right click on the drawing, I've got properties here and drawing properties here. If I click there, as you can see, it brings up my drawing properties dialog box where I can add descriptions here. There's the project name and I can now add a description. Now, if I go pick here, select an object, I can add a description from the drawing. I don't want to do that right now but I'll press escape, it takes me back to the dialog box. I can add descriptions here from the pull down menu. Now there aren't any right now. The reason being I haven't actually added any to that project. So let's click here and I'll add a description. So we'll go for, let's say, basic circuit. And it is a very basic circuit, but what I'm trying to get across here is how you put the data into the dialog. Now there's a lot of other information here. We have components, we have wire numbering, we have cross-references, we have styles and drawing format. We'll look at that a little bit later on. Let's go back to drawing settings. Now sections, this is all down here, sheet and drawing and section and subsection. So it's a basic circuit and I'll go main section here. I can type it in and then that will be added to the database for this drawing. So it's a basic circuit in the main section. So when I OK that now, that'll update. And basically now that information is stored with that particular drawing. So if I just pull this across a little bit like so, just click and drag, make it a bit bigger. Let's have a look at what information I've got here now. I've got new drawing, refresh. I've also got here other icons, project wide update retag. Let's do a project wide update retag. As you can see there, lots of information there. I'm not going to worry about that right now though. Let's just do a refresh. And you can see there, nothing actually changes in the list. If I click there though, have I got any information down here? Yes, I have. Look, description, basic circuit. So that's where that information goes in. There's the details there. Look, if I put a sheet in there, the sheet number would also appear. So this information is there but it's sort of in the background. So you right click and you go properties there, drawing properties. And you can apply the project defaults there so you can refresh your drawing with the project defaults if you need to. But you can see there how easy it is to add that information. So that's your descriptions and sections. Again, it's more database information. AutoCAD Electrical and AutoCAD itself, basic AutoCAD, is basically a graphical database. So when you add this sort of information, like descriptions and sections, they go in the background, in the database behind the drawing, which allows you to filter and find and work with your AutoCAD electrical project.